Catholics wake up. Archbishop Pigano says, arrest Pope and Cardinal Fernandez over fiducia supplicants. Let us not get confused with heretical teachings. It's time to wake up. We have been bombarded with lots of temptations from the Vatican to accept new doctrines that are not Catholic. What are the new doctrines that affect our Catholic faith? Since the beginning of Francis' pontificate, discerning Catholic bishops, priests, and lay people have been struck with heresies, encyclicals, and pontifical affirmations that destroy tradition and morals, offending God gravely. St. Paul speaking with the Word of God is our only defense of the truth against bad doctrine. Galatians 1 verse 8 But even if we, or an angel from heaven, should preach to you a gospel contrary to that which we preach to you, let him be anathema. The Code of Canon Law, Article 751, defines heresy as the stubborn denial or doubt about a truth to be believed in the divine and Catholic faith. Heresies are conceived in an innovative mind, in someone who is a know-it-all, a reformer, an intellectual, who reproves the wisdom of the Church and thinks of himself being wiser than God himself. Cardinal Jorge Mario Bergoglio was named Pope of the Catholic Church after a notorious election that has a dubious history. Francis has introduced a series of reforms in the Church and has said hundreds of heresies. Here are a few of them. In a Mass celebrated in Villa Vicencio, Colombia, in September 2017, Francis said this diabolic heresy. Pagan blood runs through the veins of Jesus. On December 21, 2018, speaking about the Virgin Mary, and St. Joseph, Bergoglio said, Saints are not born, they are made, and this is true for them too. This happens to be a great heresy against the Blessed Virgin Mary, because that statement denies the Immaculate Conception, which is a Catholic dogma. Apart from this, it denies that Jesus, being the Word of God incarnate, the second person of the Holy Trinity, God himself was not born holy, but became holy. In March 2017, Bergoglio, speaking in the midst of his jokes, said that within the Holy Trinity everyone is arguing behind closed doors, but on the outside they give the image of unity. This is a diabolical heresy that denies the sacred unity of the Holy Trinity. Another hidden Francis heresy is implied in his doctrine of false ecumenism that claims that all religions lead to God. In a general audience on November 26, 2014, Francis said, It's nice to think this, to think of heaven. All of us will meet up there, everybody. He demeans the words of Jesus, I am the way the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. And likewise, our Catholic Church is the only way, the truth and the life, because it is the body of Christ. Francis preaches a false mercy and never speaks about repentance for the forgiveness of sins. He denies the teaching of the Catechism of the Catholic Church that states that outside the Church there is no salvation. So using the authority of the Church, he has immortalized his heresies, as he did in the exhortation Amoris Laetitia, in which he presents heresies that go against the sixth commandment of the law of God and promote immorality. In the encyclical letter Laudato Si, Francis promotes idolatry and worship of Mother Earth, 
Fratelli Tutti, is an encyclical calling us to fraternal love, a Masonic invitation for Catholics to become Freemasons. Paragraph 103 of Fratelli Tutti is titled Liberty, Equality and Fraternity, which are the three pillars of Freemasonry. Fratelli Tutti translated to English means all brothers, but we only become true brothers when we are children of God in Christ Jesus. By authorization of Francis, Fiducia Supplicans is a declaration from the Dicastery of the Doctrine of the Faith signed by Cardinal Victor Manuel Fernandez, Prefect, which allows the blessing of couples of the same sex, which in the eyes of God is an abomination. This Cardinal from Argentina was appointed by Bergoglio, who knew he was the author of erotic books like The Mystical Passion, Spirituality and Sensuality, Heal Me With Your Mouth, The Art of Kissing, in which one of his chapters is titled The Road to Orgasm, just to get an idea of the perverted mind of that cardinal. So, we have the two most important people of the Church, the Pope and the Prefect of the Dicastery for the Doctrine of the Faith, on the side of the Devil. Can we then accept everything that comes from the Vatican or retain our faith, avoiding being accomplices of the evil that is perverting the Church? Let us pray to the Holy Spirit to enlighten us. At this very moment, there are many cardinals, bishops and priests all over the world who are protesting the new profane doctrines of the Church. Cardinal Zara, uniting his voice to the bishops of Africa, says, We are firmly and radically opposing a heresy that seriously undermines the Church. Cardinal Muller calls it blasphemous. Several South American bishops oppose fiducia supplicants. Archbishop Carlo Maria Vigano says, What does Bergoglio want to achieve? Nothing good, nothing true, nothing holy. He does not want souls to be saved. He does not proclaim the gospel. Cardinal Vigano eh, actually calls those people servants of Satan. After discovering that Cardinal Tucho Fernandez was the author of erotic books, Cardinal Vigano made a declaration on the 15th of January asking the Swiss Guard of the Vatican to arrest Pope Francis and Cardinal Fernandez and expel them. He said that what they have done is a perversion and alienation from our Catholic faith. The Swiss Guard should defend the Church, not protect those who are destroying it. What will become of our Catholic Church? Much will depend on our prayers. So, let us pray that we don't lose our true faith. Please subscribe to our channel, The Work of God, and leave your comments. God bless you.